Okay, so if you've created a class, now you're ready to start searching. So I always click here, find content. And there are many ways you can do this. You could type in, like if you're learning about plants, topic wise, and you need um, to find a passage. I always like to go um, down here and click on skills and strategies. And then I could, um, whatever standard we're working on, I could find passages for that standard. Now, you don't want to be super specific. Like if I check a bunch of different things, it's probably going to not find anything. So let's just say I'm working on cause and effect. Okay, and here's what, you know, came up. So obviously I see I can't find a sixth grade passage on that. Okay, so just, and but I also try to look at Lexile because you'll notice it says fourth grade, 950. That may be where some of your literacy kids are at. So try to pay a little more attention to the Lexile level than anything, okay? So I'll go to author's purpose. Okay, there's just so many different options on here. Literacy, narrative fiction. Okay, so you can scroll through these. Once you find one you want, like, okay, I'm going to use this in my language arts class. So let me click here. Okay, um, now this is where you have a couple options to do. You can either print a PDF file, and then you have a paper copy to use in your groups. Okay, and you can select what you want, you know, the reading passage. I want comprehension questions. Um, do you want lines or do you not want lines? Okay, so you can select that. Um, and it will show you the PDF so you can kind of see if that's what you want. Okay, so it shows you what it looks like. Okay, but then let's say you want to go ahead and assign this and make an online, an online assignment, okay? I'm going to click Assign. Okay, and then here you're gonna click reading passage. I love to click audio for my literacy students. Then they have the option to listen to it or to read it. So that's up to you. Comprehension questions, if you want to cover the vocabulary. Okay, and then um, scroll down and this is where you'll have your classes. So I only have one put in, assigned to, and remember I don't have kids that have signed up yet, but I would click whole class. I could differentiate. This is where I could assign this passage just to a few students, maybe. Okay, so when you're ready, you just click start date, due date, and just click assign. And then it will go into the student's assignments. So they'll know when they get there, they'll just click on assignments and they will have it. Um, up here, assignments in progress, this is where you would find um, what you've assigned and how far the kids have come. It will also have you grade any written responses okay so th that's just a few ins and outs um, and one more tip is if you find something that you're like oh that looks good let me use it next time okay so let me just say oh I like this then I want to save it to my list because I'm gonna I just want it's like a favorite section so I'm gonna save it then I have it under my list and I can assign it at another time Okay, so that's just a little bit about ReadWorks, and I hope that helps. Um, this is a great program to use even if you're in small groups and you're reading together. You can use the paper copy to highlight. You could use the computer version um, and also do some editing on there through some, th through some Read Write tools as well. Okay, so just let me know if you have any other questions, but this should at least get you started. Thanks, and have fun.